Did you know that Black Lives Matter is a far-left liberal radical organization that was founded by a, fu- a bunch of fat black lesbians? And your point is what now? Did you know that? No, what is your point about it? I want to know first that you know that. Then I'll tell you my point. Did you know it was founded by black radical lesbians? You know what? I thought it was, uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it doesn't matter what the person's preference is. It matters what the agenda of the organization. No, I'm first just trying to find a lot of people didn't know that it was founded by some radical fat black lesbians. I'm asking you, did you know, know, you support the organization. Did you know that it was founded by fat black lesbians? What difference does it make? Did you know that? Well, no. What difference does it make? First, I want to know that you know it, then I'll tell you the difference that it makes. Well, I don't think it matters what I know that or not, but what difference does it make? The point is, what is the goal of the organization? What have they accomplished and what are they striving to accomplish? To belittle the organization helps nobody, but some people who don't like what they're doing should start something that they like. But how are you uh, saying that I'll be... want to start White Lives Matter. Start what you like. Start what you advocate. And be the leader of that in a way that helps all Are the you saying that I'll be leader by telling you that it was founded by a bunch of fat black lesbians? Yeah, because I don't see why that, because I have no clue why that would be relevant to this conversation. Because you're a man of God and you wouldn't want to follow some fat black lesbians who are, no, they're no, not no, of God, right? Now, now you're speaking for me. Would you want to follow those type of women? I wouldn't allow anybody to speak for me. I follow anybody doing the right thing for the right reason. So you think these fat black lesbians are doing the right thing for the right reason? I'm I'm not a judge. I wasn't made a judge. Do you believe that they're doing the right thing? God didn't make me a judge. God didn't make little green apples either. And he didn't make it rain in the summertime, but we have it. Would you okay. support? I don't think you could have little green apples. <laughs> although, although he you didn't, seem to he be didn't make it rain in Indianapolis in the summertime, but we have it. Uh, I see what you I understand, but I thought you were having a serious dialogue. I but am. Not, but what I'm trying know. to find out if you had known that it was organized by, since I don't know if you knew or not, but now that you know it was founded by some fat black lesbian, radical blacks. Would you, and being a reverend, would you still support them knowing how they were founded and there was radical black lesbians? Would you still support it? Had you known? I don't see that. That's relevant. I think I've answered that already. You are reverend and you shouldn't follow evil, right? Are you saying they're evil because of their preference? No, because of their... I don't believe that. Because of their purpose. Well, I, well, what is their purpose? It's to destroy and not to build. Uh, well, then I'm, I'm not familiar with that particular Black Lives Matter organization. You have been I seeing what's going on I, around I, the country lately? You have I been really noticing what's going that on? That's what you wanted to do here today. But I just, I think that's not reaching um, the high level of uh, potential of this conversation. Uh, it doesn't matter to me who started. What matters is what is the agenda and what can I do to support positive agendas that are on the behalf of all of the people of America and the world? That's my goal. What do you I'm think not, about I'm not, I'm what not you, interested in judging people, whether they are white or black? What do you well, think? When you didn't whatever. say you want to support a white organization, you are judging, you're judging the white uh, 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 white life matter, but you are not judging you know, the black life matter. I think. You and I have the opportunity to support wherever we can, wherever we will. But I, I would never support evil. evil, not normally. Okay. What do you think, think about that's... what do you think about in America today? Um, white people are kneeling to these radical thug blacks. They're washing their feet and they're running around saying black lives matter. The whites are being so weak with the blacks. What do you think about that? I've not seen that. You've not seen the whites kneeling to the blacks? I have not seen that. You have seen no whites kneeling to blacks? No. You haven't seen the cops kneeling to the blacks? 
No. You ever seen the uh, 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 the Army Reserve, the National Reserve guards uh, kneeling to the blacks either? Your questions are general and sweeping. Now, if you want to get specific, then I can answer you. Okay, I'll be more specific. But, but have you, what do you, you think about kneeling. the whites who are kneeling to the blacks? What, and how and when and where have you seen a white kneeling to a black? It's all over the news. Turn your TV on right now. You'll see it. It's okay, everywhere. I can't believe you haven't seen, seen it. That. If it's true, what do you think about that? What do you think about it? Specificity. Maybe you haven't seen it, but if it's true, what do you think about that? I have given it no thought. Amazing. Um, This is the reason that you would ask me a question. You would toy with something so significant in this country with all that's going on, with people putting their lives and their health on the line, that you would toy with an opportunity to be a voice to America and trivialize this conversation, which you could be talking about something a lot more meaningful and helpful for all of the people. It doesn't matter if they're black or whatever size they are. Uh, I just think, though, if you want to be power, if you want to be a voice, be it with virtue, with prudence, with wisdom. What do you think about the blacks you burning come down? You over here to take 45 minutes of my time, and yet you don't take it seriously. What do you think about the blacks that are burning down and destroying other people's property? I resent that because there's no evidence that it was all blacks doing that. And why you would bring that up in that fashion says to me that you're looking for the destruction of the black community. I'm not going to destroy any community. I'm a pastor of all the people. I want to help all the people. Do you love white people? I think about 35 minutes ago, you asked me that in a different way. I love all the people. Do you love, do you love white people? I love the earth. And when I see the earth being contaminated with plastic and paper and waste, and when I see it dumped, I, and our environment being destroyed and water, uh, clean water being evaporated with filth and garbage. I love the earth. Pastor Rolf, do you people. love, do you love at, white people? When I look at the boot, when I look at this world, the advantage and the disadvantage, the marginalized, when I look at poverty and homelessness, you ask me, do I love all people? I love, uh, a, I would like to see a world where greed does not impoverish people. I'd like to see a world where people have really equal opportunities at education, at economics. If you you got 50,000 people, you got uh, 30,000 people in mid-March that couldn't even get their unemployment check and were waiting on stimulus, I think that's the kind of stuff you ought to be working on. If you got people marching in the street, 20,000 people. That's wrong, because of time. Little with little children, whites and blacks talking about a better America. To me, that's important. And that's the role of the church. The role of the church from the 60s and from its existence in the first century is the same as today, making the world better. Pastor Rob, do you love white people? I love all people. How about white? White, green, yellow, orange, brown. How about white people? Do you love white people? I love all people. How about white if, people? If whites are included in all, yes. I'm only asking about white people. Do you yes. love white if, people? If whites are included in, in in all, yes. But they're not included in all. I'm asking you, do you love white people? Okay. Do you love white people? I love all people. White, black, green, orange, yellow, whatever colors we have. Do you love the, the Jews? I love everybody. How about the Jews? Why you ask me that? I, I, don't, I just want to know, do you love the Jews? You, you, you know, this is the kind of way that America gets separated. What, what do you mean? Well, because we don't want to be inclusive. We want to remain where we can um, raise our objections to everybody. And it's based on, based on race, creed, or color. That is so unnecessary. Uh, so harmful uh, to the nation. One of the things that's true is if you're going to get past racism, you got to stop being, uh, you got to get up and start doing something about it. 
and start with our, our building our relationship. People do pretty well one on one, but when we try to when we group out and separate, we don't do so well. So you we can't tell of, me if you love the Jews or not. I love everybody. How Jews, about the Jews? Whites, I love whites. I love Jews. I love blacks. I love Asians. I love Hispanics, Mexican. I love French, Germans, everybody. Do you love the great white hope? Okay. Are you? Are we done? Almost. Do you love the great white hope? I'm not going to answer that. You love the president? <laughs> If you don't have anything else you want to talk about, then I do. Um, but let me ask one more time because I'm black and slow. Do you love if President? You ask me that serious. Let me go. Do you, you love you President? Tr- for some reason. Do you love but President gonna... Trump? Do you love President Trump? I absolutely do. Yes. How about you? Okay. I love everybody. How about the president? How about the president? Okay, thank you so much. Pre- uh, Reverend I Rock, hold on. Me. Let me ask you this. These people want to defund the police departments. They want to get rid of the cops, defund them. Are you for that? Are you? Is that your interpretation of defund the police? Is that your interpretation of what that really means? Yes. Do now, you, are you, you yeah. for defunding the police departments? What is meant by defunded? I think you take have to away be the money in Los Angeles. The mayor is taking away one hundred and fifty million dollars from the police department. Are you in support of doing that kind of stuff? I think I'm. I'm in favor of diversing the funds in America, so that all of the entities, so that we can do something about poverty, so we can do something about the economy and health care. So we can do something about homelessness. And I don't think you should put all the money into any one category, but I do think you gotta have a police department. Are you in support of defunding the police departments? I'm in I'm in favor of funding the departments in the city and in the country. I'm in fun, I'm in favor of funds that speak to the needs of the people. Are you in support of defunding the police departments? I don't. I don't know that I'm in favor of defunding. I think that I'm in favor of sharing the wealth. 